Festival, featuring highlights from homegrown filmmakers. And New York One Staten Island reporter Amanda Farinacci has the story. Tonight, our crew is going to be investigating the Parsonage restaurant located in historic Richmond Town. Is the Parsonage haunted? Rumors have been flying for decades that it is. So a crew of Staten Island filmmakers spent the night at the famed restaurant, cameras rolling the whole time. Their film, Scared, Episode 10, will be featured in the first annual Staten Island Film Festival. And it was quite a night. It was a lot of the unexpected. 113 films will light up the silver screen beginning this Thursday at the festival, organized by the Staten Island Economic Development Corporation. Tuesday, participants visited with aspiring filmmakers and answered questions about their projects and how they got involved in cinema. Many of the entries are by local filmmakers, drawing from their experiences living on Staten Staten Island. I wrote it with the inspiration of the time that I spent with my family, my grandmothers. Growing up here was a great cultural experience. I mean, I'm, you know, my background is Italian American, but there were all different type of peoples here. And the, the great thing was that is that the neighborhood in the early 70s was so new that it was just a real sense of community. It took two years to plan the four-day festival, and each of the featured films were shot all over Staten Island. I think a lot of people want to shoot here because it is this. We're still in New York City, but yet we, it very, you know, the borough. It's a borough. You can film by the ferry and have a different experience than if you filmed in Tottenville. The island is so small and yet so big that it can accommodate so many different things. The festival runs from June 1st through June 4th. For more information about the films and how to purchase tickets, you can log on to www.sifilmfestival.org. On Staten Island, Amanda Farinacci, New York One.